Welcome to the channel, human. My name is Terrence. This particular Halloween film takes place 40 years after the original Halloween, okay? The sequels that came after the original Halloween are retcon for the sake of this particular storyline. So to understand this film, all you would need to do is watch the original Halloween. So, because it's been 40 years, Laurie Strode is old as fuck, Michael Myers is old as fuck, and Michael Myers is in a mental institution, and, he, and he's still just doing his thing, just standing there, not talking to the humans, he's like, I ain't gotta say shit to nobody, I'm Michael Myers, and you got these journalists, the, these reporters or whatever that come by, and they're trying to get Michael to talk, you wanna talk to us, Michael? You want to talk to us. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with these humans? I'm like, they are begging to die. They are begging to die. And sure enough, what you have is, is Michael Myers being transferred. And I was like, do you know how bad that is that you are transferring Michael? You basically... They they want to die in this movie. Is that is that that simple? You don't you don't transport Michael. You just leave him where he is because you do something like that and put him on a bus. He gonna get out and fuck everybody up, and that's what happens. He's on the bus. They think everything is right in the world on a Tuesday, and they just get fucked up. I'm like, damn, I saw that shit coming. Michael Myers kills like more than ten humans in this movie. Now, granted, that's a that's a great thing when the body count is high. That's what's up, because that's what you're supposed to have in a horror movie. It's supposed to be a lot of fucking humans getting wrecked. What I like about the Laurie Strode character in this particular Halloween film is that she is a lot like Sarah Connor. I'm talking about she has been training for 40 years, learning all the weapons, practicing with the firearms, and she got that accuracy. You know what I'm saying? That shit where, you know, maybe if a tiny army comes by, Laurie Strode going to be able to wreck they shit. Michael Myers come by, Lori gonna be like, what's up, motherfucker? I've been training to take your ass out for some decades, 40 years. Step up, Michael. Ain't gonna be no sequel for you. So I like that Lori Strode, she's not like that helpless, defenseless, you know, chick we saw in the original Halloween film. Now, uh, just to let you know, in terms of the original franchise, Lori Strode did get beast by, like, Halloween H2O. But if you compare her to... Uh, how she was in the original Halloween film to this one, it's like she a completely different person. It's like she looked the devil in the eyes and she was like, uh-uh, motherfucker, you come around again, I gotta be ready. I can't be sitting around going, help me, help me, uh, please, call 911. It's like, they not gonna get there fast enough. You're gonna be dead as fuck. You better get beast real quick. So I like that Laurie Strode is tough because it's like, it makes you believe that even though Michael Myers is hacked, that there's a human in this environment that can stand up to him. And over the course of 40 years, Lori Strode, you know, she had a daughter and she she definitely trained her daughter pretty good. But her daughter just like she wanted to have a normal life. She's like, Mom, you fucking batshit crazy. Can't be around you. The daughter ends up having her own family and stuff. And, you know, she don't really reach out to her mom. You know what I'm saying? She like, uh, let, let the mom stay over there to herself. And she's still under the impression that Michael Myers is going to get out and kill us all one day. Um, You know, Lori's daughter, I bet you she like felt stupid as fuck when Michael Myers actually escaped. You know what I'm saying? They were just dismissing her laughing and all that stuff and i'm like okay y'all don't listen i don't know what it is with humans but they never fucking listen they like to joke and laugh and drink their fucking alcohol and then when something happens they want to get serious but sometimes it might be too late luckily you got Lori strode in this movie to let these humans know y'all are dumb as fuck i've been trying to tell you this for like 40 some odd years but y'all don't fucking listen. And now you got dead bodies everywhere. And Michael, let me tell you something. Michael, 
is old as fuck in this movie, but it don't matter. You know like how the humans say age ain't nothing but a number? Yeah, it, it don't matter in this movie because Michael is still wrecking motherfuckers like he's in his early 20s. Like age don't matter to this dude. He is incredibly hard to kill. And I feel like the longer Michael Myers just stares out into the distance, it increases his strength. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly-ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm going to give this movie 8.5 out of 10. This is a really, really good horror movie. And the way that they were able to bring Michael Myers back in, into this day and age, and granted this is a couple years old, but you know the sequel was supposed to come out this year, but the pandemic fucked it up, so we ain't going to get it to 2021. But yeah, the way they were able to bring Michael Myers back in this day and age and have so many humans go out and support this film, this film made all kinds of money, that's really hard to do with an old school classic character. It is There are so many ways to fuck it up, and it, but they didn't though. They brought it back in a brilliant fashion and the execution was on point. I was like, holy shit, look, look what they did with Michael, look what they did with Lori. It, it just, it, it's wonderful, and I can't wait to see the sequel, and if you are a fan of Michael Myers, and you've been sleeping on this film, you, it's time for you to wake the fuck up and watch this shit. Thank you for being here, human. You be sure to like this video and share it with the humans you know, and then you punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. Am I the only one that gets excited when Michael Myers kills humans? Am I the only one that, like, gets real joy out of that? Like, I'm on Michael Myers' side. Like, even though Lori's a beast, I love me a badass woman. I don't care how old she is, but, you, you know, I feel like Michael, he, he just trying to lay some motherfuckers out. You know, he, he was locked up all that time. The humans thought they were cute and shit. Now Michael's laying them out. I, I understand, Michael. Sometimes in life you want to get the big shiny knife and show them what's up. You know, so I was just sitting there like, yeah, get him, Michael, yeah. Like, it, Was I the only one doing that and everybody else was scared? You know, I know violence is wrong and stuff, but this is a movie. I, I, aren't you supposed to cheer for the killer? Thank you for being here, human. I'm Terrence. Support the channel. Press all the positive buttons. And until next time, Terrence out.